Hi, Janice Montalvo, Living in Lenaway Realty with another Saturday Spotlight with one of our women-owned businesses. So first of all, I want to thank you. I've met Lisa several times, a lot of chamber events and things like that in the beginning. And I've really gotten to know you, one, because she took our team pictures, but two, she, you started this wonderful group of women called Entrepreneurial Meetup uh, yeah. Group, something like that. Yeah. And, and just so other people, other women are out there are wondering like, okay, that sounds like really fun. What do you do and when do you meet? Can you just do that real quick? Yeah, so it's a local entrepreneur ladies coffee hour that we do and we meet uh, on the fourth Monday of every month. We meet at Musgroves in the morning and it's just a chance for the, the local ladies that are business owners, entrepreneurs to get together, to have a good time. It's uh, not so much, um, discussing business all the time we like to have fun we want to kind of get away especially with the ones who have young children and they just need another woman to talk to that um understands what we go through as business owners so um we I'm pretty much solve the problems of the world though yes, I, yes, we we like i'm like you know within an hour i can guarantee you that there are no more problems than to come see michigan and <laughs> the state of Michigan and the United States, because that's what we do as women. We solve everything, right? We do. We I do wish. solve it all. And it's a lot of fun. We, we really enjoy getting together and just, you know, and you don't have to be at every one, but right. just come in and enjoy yourself. Have I just time. love getting together with them mm -hmm. and you. So yeah, so they can probably just message you if they're interested in Absolutely, more information. Yeah. So her um, Facebook page will be on here. So tell me a little bit about Captured by Lisa Kaler Photography. Mm -hmm. So Captured, I had it as a K and simply just to bounce off my last name. We, uh, I've been around for 10 years and uh, I specialize obviously in families uh, and uh, pets, I'm doing a fundraiser right now. And I have a separate branch of my company. So I actually have two, two different companies. And the second one is Pure Seniors by Lisa Kaler, which is specifically for high school seniors because they deserve their own image. So we do that. I think it's I, fun. Like I've watched you like go out on site and like, you know, we were trying to schedule our team pictures and she's like, no, I have a senior shoot that day. So it's just kind of fun. You don't just do the regular, like I'm standing next to a building. I love looking at your senior pictures. That's really awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So you, you really do a great job with pets, which I mean, honestly, which one's more challenging families or pets? Um, depends on, <laughs> I was going to say, I remember several years ago when I say that it's probably been 10, 15 years ago, we had a family portrait taken. And at one point the photographer had to take my niece's head, Grace's head need to come off of another one because we couldn't get Grace to face the right direction. We love Grace. She's now she'd be the perfectly, she's totally photogenic, but I try to get everybody on one page. You know, I feel like a dog is like, okay. And yeah. the kids are like, okay. Yeah, yeah, dogs will listen a little bit better sometimes than the children will, so getting them to focus on me is not too bad. Where the children, if they're just, you know, running around, then they're going to be a little bit more. But, you know, we make it work. Yeah, and you do both off-site, so you'll go to parks or places or homes and things like that. And then she also has a studio, which we're standing in. So you can kind of, in the studio, you've got some backdrops and lighting and all that kind of fun stuff as well. Yeah, I have a home-based studio, and the reason I chose home-based is two things. I don't do a lot of indoor sessions. It's mostly headshots, yearbook headshots, um, children and pets that I'll do indoors. Everything else throughout the year is outdoors, so I decided to do home-based. And we have over eight acres, so I'm able to really invest time inside and outside with my clients at all right here, so I love it. Yeah, we had a blast. We actually, um, just if you've seen our different pictures that we've done, we did um, Black Fire Winery, standing in front of the grapevines, which was beautiful. And then we went out and um, had Sand Lake as our background, which is, that was awesome. So it's, it's fun. Every time I'm like, oh, I just need... I just need this picture. I needed a picture just for of Ed and I for a conference. And so it's of me doing this and Ed doing this. And so it's just, it was a fun, that it was wasn't fun. just like a photo shoot. I feel like, you know, put your hand here, Ed, put your hand here. You know, we've done those before. This, we, our yeah. team really had a blast. Yeah. And we sat down together to figure out exactly what you wanted because you guys wanted something very specific. Uh, with a lot of fun and so that's one of the things I love doing is I don't just yeah don't do just the hand here yeah we're not we're not we're just not that normal team probably so like I feel like every time you turn around there's photographers popping up and I feel like you know now with digital like what sets you apart from the other photographers that are out there of course so 
Um, there's quite a bit, but um, there are photographers that kind of bounce up everywhere. There's probably one on every block around here. Um, and there's hobbyists, um, and then there's photographers who um, are photographers, and then there's business owners um, that, so there's a little variety of photographers, and it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Uh, digitals are kind of going to the wayside simply because of the fact that everybody has a digital camera on their phone. So why do they, you know, why do they want to bother with doing that? So my clients, when they come to me, it's very specific what they're looking for. Other than headshots and branding, one of the biggest things that they're coming to me for is to be served from a very, very high level. When they come to me, we sit down and we have a consultation in their home, figure out the entire session, their clothing, the location, um, and, and just really get to know them so that I can bring their personality out in their portraits. And that's very important. Um, and of course we have the, their, their portrait session and we follow that up with a presentation and then we make their orders. Everything I do is finished product. So um, whether it's uh, something that's matte and framed, I work with a three-time international award-winning framer. He's amazing. Um, or it can be something on canvas or metal or acrylic. So, uh, and of course we have albums. So our seniors, a lot of times are, they want the albums. Um, but we just feel like having something finished on their walls is so, so important. It's, it really creates um, a connection with children. So when they see themselves on the walls of their home, they feel important. They, they get um, a lot of emotional strength from, from those pictures. And that's really, really important for children, especially today with the, the bullying and all the problems that we're seeing. And then of course the seclusion from COVID. So yeah, it's real important to, to do that. So that kind of is what sets me apart is just serving my clients at a really high level and um, saying, you know, if you want digital pictures, you've got your phone. You can take digital pictures all day long and have thousands of them on your phone. And that's wonderful. When you're ready to have actual portrait artwork on your walls of your home, that's when you give us a call. Yeah. And I feel like, like with senior portraits, like you get a bunch of little um, wallet size, but truly every time I sit down in my home, I can look across above Ed's head basically. And there's two pictures of, you know, both my kids at the same age, you know, and I'm like, yeah. they don't, Ben will say, I don't look like, I didn't like that picture, mom, you liked it, but it was my favorite yeah. picture. So it's just fun. Yeah. Like, and it, it's timeless. I feel like that's, yeah. especially with family portraits. Like one time we had talked about, like you had done some, you had done different stages of, with, with families, which I feel is, is so critical because families change, family dynamics change kids grow so yeah. it's just got to be fun to watch those families it probably if it's like selling houses does it ever make you feel old like there's no way that kid yes. can be 10 because they were a newborn when i photographed them exactly they were newborn and next thing i know they're high school seniors and i'm thinking where did the time go and uh, i'm so glad that i was able to capture those moments the little teeth when they're coming in or the tooth <laughs> that's missing um from that child that's really cute because you want to capture those moments the tween age when they're kind of awkward and uncomfortable, you want to capture that. Uh, and then of course, you know, their senior year, that's so important because they've, the culmination of 12 years is coming to an end. Right. That's so important to capture. And like you said, you, the, you know, your son's like, I didn't like that senior picture, mom. That's why we have the album so that the students can get all the beautiful portraits that they love in that album to take with them in right. the future. But mom's going to get that one that she wants for her home too. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if someone wants to contact you, how do they contact you? So you can go to Captured by Lisa Kaler. With a K. Yeah, with a K, Captured by Lisa Kaler. And um, on my website, you, I'm also on Facebook. I'm also on uh, Instagram, TikTok, all those, so you're able to find me. And if you're a high school senior uh, or a parent of a high school senior, you can still go to my capture page. It will bounce you over to Pure Seniors, or you're welcome to go to Pure Seniors by Lisa Kaler as well. So either one. Okay. And if they want to contact you, can they call you too or email Absolutely. you? Absolutely. I yeah. always talk to my clients anyway. Um, so my phone number is 517 273 0650 and of course our my email is on my website as well that's awesome so tell me what was your favorite person to ever photograph besides living in Lenaway Bes Realty besides living in Lenaway <laughs> Realty which you guys were amazing it's so <laughs> much fun with you guys I love whenever people bring fun into it and so you guys were great and I loved it um gosh uh, I have so many people that I love to photograph my seniors are one of my favorites uh they're just kind of near and dear to my heart absolutely um, and then right now doing our pooch playoffs fundraiser we we do that annually and being able to 
photograph these pets, these dogs and cats that may or may not have ever ha been photographed before, before that small window of time we have with our pets is gone, you want to make sure you capture that. So those are probably my two favorites. Yeah, I feel like pets is important. I was funny, my, um, I, I, Taylor probably is going to tell this story, but my niece adopted a cat or she bought a cat and it was an expensive cat. It's got these cool ears and it's a great cat. And one day I was like, why would you pay that much for a cat? And she said, Aunt Janice, how long did your last dog live? And you know how long this one's going to, see, my cat's going to outlive both your dogs. And I was like, okay, Taylor, you're right. And I never say that. Taylor Ann, you're right. But yeah, just kidding. But I do. I feel like you want to capture those moments. And, and it's like you wake up one day and all of a sudden they they have little white beards all around. So yeah. I see that happening with Ripley now. Yeah, so. yeah all the white gets in, into their face real quick. Yeah, yeah it's super fun. So is there anything that you want to tell us about Captured by Lisa that we haven't done, talked about? Um, just just knowing that there's there's a difference between just going out and grabbing some pictures of your family and actually creating portrait artwork. Um, the two are so different. You can grab a friend and use your phone to go take some pictures of just when you want to take some snaps of your family um, for your social media. But when you want actual portrait artwork that really represents you and who your family is, then that's whenever you want to give us a call. That's when you want to sit down and actually create that artwork that you're going to have because it's going to last generations. Everything that we do is archival, so it's going to last forever, and that's what you want when you're taking the time to dress your husband up, who you know doesn't want to do that. Right. Have your kids all ready to go and make sure they've been napped and stuff. So that's uh, real important that you that you take that time. Yeah, and I also feel like you know it's one thing to have your picture taken; it's to have it professionally produced and framed, and you know, to the end product. I think we don't realize the difference between oh, I can have a picture printed at CVS yeah. but what does that picture look like does it lose color does yeah. it does it adjust in color it's not good yeah yeah, yeah. so it, a lot of times it'll be blurry um, because it's not high enough resolution uh, they haven't been color corrected because places like CVS and, and these other places they don't unfortunately with video you can't like get rid of my like <laughs> blemishes she she may or may not have done that before <laughs> <laughs> I, I like making you know making everybody look beautiful uh, but, but yeah, I feel like the, the other side yeah. of it is I see people like they don't look anything like their pictures like okay I still have a double chin. Thanks for leaving that, Lisa. No, just kidding. No, we just, I mean, you're really fun to work with. I feel like you're very inspirational. You're very active in this community, which I think is, you know, that's, I think, how we, we really connected yeah. is, like, I see you everywhere. So, and if you haven't seen her, that means you're not active enough in the community. Yes, exactly. she is. So... It's a great community. We want to be a part of it. It is. And it's a great little studio. She's got beautiful land out here. So, or you can pick your, um, where you want to have your portraits. Yeah, done. we go everywhere. I go two hours south of here, all the way up to, you know, closer to Detroit. Those, She's you know, got some great everywhere. places too. Yeah. You can't, you couldn't do them at Henley Gardens during COVID, but I think you're probably, they're probably open now. They're open now. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, if you're looking for actual professional photography, if you're looking for a fun experience, whether it's seniors, family, infants, team, or promotional products, certainly Lisa Kaler's your girl. This has been Janice Santalvo with Living in Lenoway Realty with our Saturday Spotlight with Captured by Lisa Kaler Photography. Make it a great Saturday.